Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. So tonight, we're continuing the best of Doctor Who stories. And we're going to focus on the third Doctor, John Pertwee, by selecting nine stories from his era that I picked. So, let's get started. The first story that I pick is his first adventure, Sparehead from Space, Special Edition. Yes, a brilliant four-part adventure marks the debut of John Pertwee. And it marks the first ever Doctor Who episode to be filmed in color. Unfortunately, at the time, due to a industrial action this only adventure was to be shot entirely on a 16 millimeter color film yep it was shot entirely on film and welcomes and new faces including Caroline John as Liz Shaw however Nicholas Courtney reprised an now became recurrent role of this particular story. And the debut of the next teen consciousness. Robert Holmes did a wonderful job of uh, written in this episode. This story originally transmitted on January 3rd to the 24th, 1970. The next story of the seventh season is The Ambassadors of Death. Awesome episode, brilliant seven-part story, and with the all the astronauts has been kidnapped and replaced by duplicates of aliens from the another uh, planet. And the, however, with this evil guy who tried to plot to kidnap Turk on Mars Probe Seven. However, the Doctor and Liz Shaw are being kidnapped, and the unit came to save the day. However, the colorization on episodes 2 through 7 are fantastic. The episode 1 was only episode was survived in its original color broadcast video. The 7 part story originally transmitted on March 21st to May 2nd, 1970. This is the only episode the Doctor travels in space Wild the TARDIS. The next story that I pick from his era is a classic 1971 adventure from his second season. The Mind of Evil. Yes, The Mind of Evil is a wonderful, terrific episode. It's one of my favorite Pertwee stories ever. It's a classic. And Roger Delgado, uh, brilliant performance as the master. And that's his plan to destroy a nuclear missile and the poisonous gas on the, the prisoner on Stagmore Prison. Ep episodes 2 through 6 were very good colorization. But I am so proud of Stuart Humphrey's colorization of episode 1 of this particular story. However... It was never survived in this original color videotape. Episode 1 filter out all the color information. It was painstakingly recolorized and reconstructed by Stuart Humphreys. This adventure originally transmitted on January 30th to March 6th, 1971. Good episode. Next up, I pick is the Damons. Yes, the Damons wraps up this eighth season. And I gotta tell you, the restoration team did a wonderful job recolorizing all five episodes. However, episode four was the only episode surviving the original color videotape. And yeah, I highly recommend this episode. The five-part story originally transmitted 
on May 22nd to June 19th, 1971. And with the battle Azel and the Bewitch of the Devil's Inn. Mrs. Hawthorne trying to outdo the master, but her magic cannot outdo the master. Next up, I picked up, I mean, I selected, is The Mutants. Now, a lot of said this episode is kind of weak, but I enjoyed this episode. And that's when a doctor delivered this, like a ball-like uh, thing as a homing beacon, and they received the stress from the, from the TARDIS blinking light from the Time Lords and to investigate on this planet. The six-part story, originally transmitted on April 8th to May 13th, 1972, and they traveled into Sky Base One. And this is Jeffrey Palmer's second appearances of Doctor Who, but sadly, his character was killed off again. The next story I selected is a multi-Doctor story. The Three Doctors, Special Edition. And I tell you, this is a very good multi-doctor story. William Hartnell, wonderful job, a cameo with the first doctor. Patrick Trout and John Pertwee, wonderful job to team up to stop the evil Omega from destroying the universe with the anti-matter. The four-part 10th anniversary special, originally transmitted, on December 30th, 1972 to January 20th, 1973. This was the last television appearances of William Hartnell as the Doctor. The next story that I pick is a final ninth season, um, I mean, ninth, I mean, tenth season, excuse me, the Green Death Special Edition, and this is a very good story. And that's when the doctor stopped the evil guy and it was a it was big computer the boss. This is one of the most excellent stories of in the Pertwee era. And I love this episode. Anyway, this Tim, I mean six part story. <laughs> there is no ten part story in the Pertwee era, but the six-part story for the Green Death originally transmitted on May 19th to June 23rd, 1973. And marks the departure of Katie Manning. The next story I chose from the 11th season, Death to the Daleks. And this is the best John Pertwee story ever. I love this episode. And this when a first time that Sarah Jane Smith ever encountered with the Daleks. When it traveled to planet Exodon, or Exons, how you pronounce the planet name. Both the TARDIS and the Dialect spaceship are drained with no power. And they are on our way to Fiona, but unfortunately the crash crash land with this planet and this cover like monster thing I cannot point out who they are if someone told me who they is tell me in the comments down below anyway the four part story for Duff to the Daleks originally transmitted on February 23rd to March 16th 1974 Exelon it's a bleak planet and finally is the final swan song for John Pertwee Planet of the Spiders, a brilliant 11th season ending for the third Doctor's run. And they have to face the evil planets of the spiders from Antibilius 3. It's sad in to see the third Doctor go, but he is regenerated to the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. The six part story, originally transmitted on May 4th to June 8th, 1974. Awesome episode. All right, let me put this guys back in there, and let me show you guys the recap of each particular story. Let me set, let me, let me set this 
back in there so you can guys see it. Okay, that's it for the John Pertwee era. The best of his selected stories. Look, come back again next time so we'll do the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. Alright, what is your favorite Doctor Who stories adventures? Comment down below for a chance for a shout out. See you next time. Take care, everyone.